Hello and welcome to Environmental Science and Technology. Today we're going to be looking at uh, PID technology and its suitability to different applications. So we've got the Multiray, the Multiray Light, and the Miniray 3000. So first off we're going to take a look at the Multiray. So let me just move these out of the way for you. So the Multiray is essentially a survey monitor which is used for occupational hygiene and health and safety purposes but can also be used in environmental investigations. Now the beauty of the, opt uh, the Multiray is that it uses plug and play technology. So as you can see we have sensors here which quite easily take out and plug back in which means that you can essentially um, get whatever your gases you want, plug them in there and have it in whatever configuration suits you best. Now for environmental applications it's very good, um, it enables you to monitor say nitrous oxides, uh, use a photoionization detector, uh, look at quite exotic gases like phosphine and this sort of thing. So it's a very good tunable monitor. However, if we're going to be using it for looking at uh, contaminated land, we have to be a little bit cautious. So the technology used in the multi-ray means that it uses a mini PID, which is essentially one of these. Um, and the issue of a mini PID, when you're using a contaminated land surveys, you're looking at soils, um, and soils contain a lot of moisture. Um, so because of the mini PID technology, it essentially means that the instrument is more susceptible to moisture on the PID sensor, which means your VOC readings can be affected significantly if you do get moisture accumulation. Um, the other thing is, if you're trying to uh, undertake headspace analysis, is that the um, response of a mini sensor is significantly slower than if you were to use a uh, sensor on the Mini Ray 3000 or something along those lines. So, um, yes, it can be used for headspace analysis, but it's not the best instrument for this. So, its primary role is for environmental monitoring of ambient gases um, and those applications where it's used in occupational hygiene. So, now we're going to take a quick look at the Mini Ray Light. So the Mini Ray Light is essentially a fairly basic functionality PID. It's used for um, spot checking of soils um, primarily, which means that it's very good for headspace analysis. The technology behind it um, we'll explain later, um, but essentially it uses a well tried and tested uh, PID design, which means that it's not particularly susceptible to moisture. It has a very rapid response rate, um, and essentially it's very easy to maintain. Um, in comparison to um, technologies which use PI, uh, mini PID, um, it's much easier for the user to maintain on a day-to-day -day basis. So finally we have a quick look at the Mini Ray 3000. So the Mini Ray 3000 is a more advanced PID monitor. Um, its primary use is for occupational hygiene and health and safety. Um, it has the ability to do time weighted averages, short term exposure limits and it data logs as well. So this is a very good um, survey monitor for the workplace um, but also it's a very good monitor for if you were to uh, leave it in a particular area and look at trends of um, organics in the atmosphere. So it's essentially the most advanced PID out of the three that we're looking at. Um, it's also the most easy to maintain, um, but with that it has a price point which is significantly greater than the other two. So here we have the sensor and the PID lamp from a Mini Ray 3000 or Mini Ray Lite, take your pick, and here we have the sensor so sensor here, PID lamp and the rest of the sensor from a multi-ray. Now when it comes to the issue of doing headspace analysis or those environments where you could contaminate your PID, um, the Mini Ray 3000 always had the advantage. Now it's pretty obvious why here. Um, the Mini Ray 3000, all the components are larger, they're more accessible, uh, so they're easier to clean. Now if you're going to be in atmospheres where there's high contamination, this is what you want. Um, for the multi-ray, you can see here that there's a lamp based in here, and this is the sensor block. This is much harder to maintain, and it's also more susceptible to contamination. Now, whatever you're told, 
miniaturization of PID technology makes it more susceptible to contamination and makes it harder to clean. So for, for those applications where you're likely to see high VOCs, always go for the more established technology, um, which is slightly larger, but far, far easier to maintain. So that's all for today. I hope this review has been useful for yourselves. If you require any further assistance, please contact us on www.environst.com or alternatively call us on 01904 373 018. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your day.